Now, why is it that they are not opposed to this proliferation of degenderization? In other words, degenderize people. You no longer have a gender among non-white people, that they are all right with that. Now, black people, non-white people all over the world should ask questions, including people who are so-called gay, should ask, why is it that the white supremacists enjoy me being gay? But they don't enjoy me having a decent roof over my head. Unless I am gay. Okay? I mean, and they believe in white supremacy. Is this supposed to be a benefit? And if it is a benefit, a benefit for whom, ultimately? And why are they publicizing it so much? Why do they want me to participate in publicizing it and lead the parade? If the non-white person is a so-called gay or bi or transgender or omnisexual or, or natrosexual or evangelist, sexual or true sexual or capital sexual or polysexual or monosexual or oral sexual or trash sexual or max uh, sexual or sacrosexual or religious sexual see you, in other words i've come up with you know just by speculation since we're these are the trends now modern trends I've come up with uh, uh, myself with about seven, 175 different titles, just like you have for all of these different so-called races of people, particularly in places like Brazil, where they do all this experimentation of racial classifications. Now, I understand they have a lot of racial classifications in what they call Brazil, you know? Mm -hmm. And so now you have what? You have... Uh, five, what is it, four major categories, lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender. These are the four, mm -hmm. if I'm not correct. What do they call it, LBGT? Mm -hmm. Now, it's strange. You have these, and they are supposed, since all sexuality is supposed to be equal, but there's another category that's not even mentioned, and that's called straight, whatever that means. 